here you can ask anyone any question everyone has so many questions in lab and you just learn so much because if you never thought to ask a question someone else in your group will ask a question you'll be like oh that's a good thing oh, okay now i know that and you just jot it down in your lab book welcome i'm stephen lozen president of the benjamin franklin institute of technology our mission is based on the wishes of our founder, Benjamin Franklin, who stated that good apprentices, men and women trained in the technical trades, are most likely to make good citizens. In Ben's will, what he did is he bequeathed to the then town of Boston a thousand pounds sterling with the decree that it sit in trust for a hundred years. So he really was prophetic. I think Benjamin Franklin, if he were alive today, he would look at the Benjamin Franklin Institute of Technology and he would be surprised at, at the types of technologies that we're teaching. To see their problem solving in action is completely gratifying. I see as we move into the future the school growing both in terms of the kinds of offerings that they have for students and also the student population growing. I'm very interested in getting more young women engaged in technical careers and I think this is a wonderful place at Benjamin Franklin for, for young women to come and be engaged. I came here as a consultant back in uh, April of 2003. Within four hours I, I fell in love with the, the mission and the purpose here. Our students, I think we can all say and we all believe can make a difference. And that's because we really know that each of them has the ability to affect change. We've certainly seen a number of changes with regard to the programs that have been offered, certificates and associate degrees. But I think the one thing that has not changed is the notion that Benjamin Franklin certainly lived his life by, which was training apprentices to become good citizens. And it's something that we still instill of all of our students today and is the, the mission of our college. I love being around Ben Franklin and, and helping the student athletes go about their business with school and also to, to grow as young men with, with regard to uh, education and uh, you know, improving their soccer skills. One of the wonderful thing about our um, programs is that it's hands-on as well. So not only are students um, having a class, a small classroom environment where they have easy access to their uh, professors, but they also have the opportunity to be in a hands-on environment. So it's theory and practical together. My name is Pat James and I'm a student, first year student in the uh, opticianary program here at Ben Franklin. I'm presently working uh, with a doctor that came here for a job fair. I love it. I love doing what I do. So this is like a real career change for me. Nothing really appealed to me as far as accounting, book work basically. Nothing, nothing in that direction appealed to me. I'm really a hands-on person and Benjamin Franklin had plenty of different options to choose from in the hands-on field, you know. Being an engineer is a very hands-on thing. I think it's so important as we move towards project-based learning and working in teams, that those teams be comprised of people from every kind of background. And that includes male and females working together and forging a new future. I think that's one of the exciting things that we see happening all the time, developing leadership roles and the skills that will um, enable people to work together in companies, creating a new future for Massachusetts and for the country. Uh, the city I, I lived in was it was real easy to get caught up in uh, very alternative lifestyles other than education and uh, I was unfortunate to fall subject to that um, but you know with the help of uh, some teachers and uh, my, my parents of course uh, and being exposed to the drafting program that my high school had uh, it got me it kept me in high school and eventually got me here and now my five-year plan now is a lot more uh, prominent than it was five years ago.